Hello and welcome to today's walk. Today we are back at Disneyland because it is all about the reopening of Toontown. So we're gonna catch the train because we're gonna get there as quick as we can. And let's take a trip around and get to Toontown on today's walk. Let's go. All right, so we're gonna head up these stairs, go to the train station, and head on into the reopening of Toontown. The Disneyland Limited, now moving for a trip around Walt Disney's Magic Kingdom. The Grand Canyon and Final World. Stop at the top. Hearing his stories with those in the Great River Valley below. Like you have been riding these rails since the 1800s, traveling through nature's wonderland in a matter of days, rather than the months it used to take by mule or stagecoach. Steam power not only fueled these iron horses, but the dreams of a whole. All right, so we just arrived here at the Toontown train depot, but look at the crowd going in to Toontown. So let me go through all this crowd, and uh, I'll get. I'll start uh, vlogging as I'm coming into Toontown. All right, as you can see, the numbers of people going into Toontown is insane. So let's go into opening day of the new and improved Toontown. Now the walls are down and man, it is insane. All right, as we walk by right here, where the Lightning Lane entrance is for Runaway Railway, something that we did not visit was the Engineer Souvenirs. And uh, what I want to do today is just go ahead and cover the, as much of the land as I can cover, but we'll, we'll need to come back to the uh, Souvenir Store at some point. Uh, all right, so City Hall. All this, all this area is taken. All right, so one of the hot items is the picnic basket and blanket that they're selling. But here they have Cafe Daisy. Looks like they have some, uh, some treats here. They also have Oh, here's some of the items at Cafe Daisy that they have. All right, so this line that goes all the way through there, it's, it's pretty far. It goes all the way to that area, is for the picnic basket. And I'm trying to see if I can find one, but oh, here's, here's the sign for the picnic basket. It's a picnic basket. You can get it with the blanket also if you want. But with just the picnic basket, it's $25.99. If you want the black the blanket add a blanket $36.99 and those are the bags or the the baskets right there okay it's tough to see but this area right here let me see if I can walk that way is a new grass area but there's so many people and strollers and and everything that that this whole grass area is being used to kind of maneuver through the town and one of the, the main attractions is the Mickey and Minnie fountain right there and I'll get a closer look right now all right what a beautiful fountain and it's Mickey throwing Minnie in the air in front of all these beautiful flowers Minnie house and there's a huge line already um, and then we have Mickey's house in front of the Toontown sign. 
but you know those those cues are all inside so it does, it, you may think that there's no cue or line but the cues inside so it is very very crowded at times and I'm sure it is now and as you can see they have Mickey's car which is basically his garage right here and his car in the driveway so it looks like they also have a new popcorn bucket here and there's the line for that you can see the popcorn line is also pretty long but yeah they also got that popcorn button bucket so in this area right here where it used to be Chippendale's like tree house years ago uh, they turned it into kind of like a, a little park area so this one's not as packed as the other parks but it is smaller and it is a, an area kind of where you can catch a breather and and um, you know get away from the big big crowds all right one of the coasters that they, or rides that they have here is this uh, Chippendale coaster I think they changed the name of it but you see uh, Chippendale right there whoops Chippendale right there playing around and it's a little coaster goes around really quick but I want to head into this quiet area take a closer look yeah so they have this real nice benches and shaded area once I'm sure the, the summer comes you'll want to want to head on under the shade here but yeah it's a really nice area it's not too crowded and uh, it's just a little area to relax some people here having uh, a little picnic with their new picnic baskets but uh yeah this is a nice little quiet area here okay yeah so it's chip and dale's gadget coaster and right now it says 60 minutes but the coaster is not running hasn't been running so it's gonna be longer than 60 minutes all right so here they have donald duck's house you can see his mailbox and kind of covered here but there's donald back there. <laughs> they're gonna have to redo this area but uh that's donald's house and then you have goofy's house right next door so right here in front of mickey and minnie's house right here in this area right here there used to be that big fountain with the um with all the instruments and then you would have um, little things where you could step on them and the, the instruments would play. So that is gone also. So now it's just a little park area and believe me, they're, be, they're being utilized. It is a packed park. All right, so I walked up this ramp right here alongside the jungle gym and Goofy's house. And you can walk up here and you could just see look at look at the pandemonium going on at the opening day here of oh you can see goofy over there um opening day of toontown here is just crazy and you can see roger rabbit's um ride is also open oh wow this is the busiest you're gonna see this place for a while. Well, you're gonna see this place busy for a while. All right, so we're gonna head into the engineer store and let's see how much we can get because it is very, very crowded. But when we rode the ride the other day, this was the exit and they didn't have the train up there. But now you see the train is up there. It's not running. But let's see if it runs throughout the time I'm here. Okay, and right away, you run into a wall with all the uh, runaway railway uh, merch. They got the engineer hats. They got the little kid shirts. They got the little bag for a picnic basket. We got a bigger blanket here for your picnic basket. And that is 60 yeah 59.99 i think it is yeah 59.99 so 60 dollars for the blanket and then they have this sweatshirt kind of like this one. Oh yeah it's pretty nice now, how much is this one this one is oops 64.99 so 65 dollars for the the hoodie yeah, i like that 
right, so here's a window with some of the stuff that they're selling. They're selling Noemos. They're selling this train set right here. These pins, these cups, and they have that picnic basket and then the engineer hat that I was showing you guys. Thank you so much. It is just very crowded to, to show everything that they, they have in here. All right, so the Roger Rabbit ride is open. The queue is pretty much out here. And, and as you know, if you've ever ridden this ride, the queue is really long inside this area. So if it's way out here, that's a, that's a long, long way. So Roger Rabbit is back. All right, as we head on out of Toontown, I just want you to take one more look at the crowds and the strollers that are everywhere. And even inside of Toontown, you'll have more uh, strollers. But we're gonna head on out, call it a day, but let me get down to Main Street. All right, so I walk through, as I'm walking through the park, Toontown is taking an effect on the rest of the park because this is one of the busy, busiest walkways right here. And there's only 20 minutes for Buzz. We're trying to see how long. 15 minutes for Star Tours. So Two Town is taking effect on the rest of the park, on wait times and and how crowded it is through the park. All right, that concludes our day out here at Disneyland for the reopening of Toontown. And man, it looks amazing. The colors are bright. It looks brand spanking new. Um, but I wish I could have got more, more footage, because, but it's so crowded. Um, we're gonna have to come back and definitely try some of the food, maybe look at the merch again and go through the whole store. But the merch that I did cover was the main uh, merch that was out. The, the rest of the merch that was there was already what, what's throughout the park. But Toontown is open and it's gonna be crazy like that for the next probably month or, or two. But it should start to clear out as, as time goes by. But I'm sure, I hope you liked this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you next time on today's walk. Bye.